Are you having fun, Journey? Okay. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It has been a little over a month since I uploaded my last video, but the past couple months have been really tough. Um, and, you know, we've been going through a lot. So, um, yeah, so now it's just... I'm trying to get back in the um get back to uploading so I just figured I'll just start today. Um the only the best thing to do is just to start right. So but oh excuse that mess over there in the corner. That's um some suitcases. I need to figure out what to do with them. Um but yeah, cuz I don't have any closet space and my mom's stuff is in my garage, so I don't have any room in there to put anything um and then it's a uh, bag full of baby clothes um that journey can't fit anymore so i need to find somebody to give it to or drop it off somewhere um to donate and whatever but yeah so we are taking the um younger kids to the fair today um kennedy she's tracked out she's um doesn't go back to school until next monday the 25th um she's year round so she's been tracked out for um about three weeks um of course journey and then my cousin is bringing her two little boys and my sister's bringing my niece london i don't know if y'all have seen london um i don't think she's been on my channel or maybe she has i don't think so but anyways yeah so um journey turn journey turns one next saturday on the 29th um that's exciting um it's a little bittersweet, but, um, you know, we'll make the best of it because that's all we can do. But, um, yeah. And the reason why I say it's bittersweet is because unfortunately we did lose my mom a couple weeks ago. So the past couple weeks have been really tough and, um, it's going to be tough because of course I wanted her to be here to help celebrate journey's first year of life. Um, but it didn't work out that way. So, um, we're going to celebrate it the best for her. You know, I just decided today, you know, I'll start vlogging and whatever, because I've honestly been trying to keep my mind so busy, not busy to the point where I'm really not dealing with the loss of my mom, but just busy enough to where I'm not sitting around just moping and crying all day because I've had those days. And it's really not, um, not saying it's not healthy, but it's kind of hard to be in that mind space, especially when I have such a young baby and I have kids and I have responsibilities that I have to handle on a daily basis. Um, don't get me wrong, I take my moments, you know, if I need to go to my room and shut the door and whatever because i constantly think about my mom all day every day from the time i wake up to the time i go to sleep so and i don't think that that's ever going to change you know but um we're taking it day by day and i'm gonna continue to take it day by day because i know the type of person that my mom was and she i know that she wouldn't want me to be sad constantly all the time um but yeah so i am about to get in the shower to get dressed because journey is still sleeping I need to take my shower before she wakes up because if I don't, I will not be able to get in the shower because she's just at the stage where she's just so busy and she's so in, she's into everything. I'm going to finish getting ready. Well, I'm going to get ready get in the shower. Matter of fact, let me turn the shower on so it can warm up. But yeah, so I am going to get in the shower and get dressed get journey ready i'm waiting for kennedy to get here she stayed the night with my sister last night um and my niece so i'm waiting till they get here um so we can meet my cousin and whatever <clears throat> hopefully i can get some good food at the fair hopefully i don't know but it is what it is but yeah um jordan's not coming with us he is still at work um, we'll probably take Noah, <clears throat> excuse my morning voice, 
Um, we'll take Noah probably later on this week because Noah is 11, almost 12. And we're taking a almost one year old, a two year old, almost four year old, a eight year old, and a five year old. So I know he's not going to go. I told him I'll bring him a caramel apple or a candy apple bag. But he wasn't tripping, so. But yeah, um, I did my hair. I'll show y'all it later. I guess like when I take it down or whatever. It took me two whole days, two days to do it. I'll probably um, check, at, check back in with you guys after we get dressed um, or in the car or whenever we get to the fair. I don't know. I'll see. Y'all will see when I get back. Bye. In the morning, I need you now. Yeah, yeah, I find the why Give me what you need me I know what you like I feel it coming Hey y'all, so we are at the fair now Um, we've been here probably How long have we been here? Maybe like a couple hours Yes Um, so the kids are riding rides And we're getting food You said what? We play games but anyways, yeah, so I'll check back in with y'all later. Are you having fun? Yeah. You having fun, Bishop? <laughs> you should record a video uh, of video, uh, video for your um, YouTube channel. Who says I'm not? flowers dying and this is the last one that I have left besides the um two plants but I'm gonna keep it up here until it's withered away Wednesday um, after we got back from the fair we did I really didn't do too much but we had a good time and um, the kids really enjoyed themselves so um, really that's all that mattered because I really honestly I hadn't been to the fair in years so I really wasn't pressed to go but I really only went for the kids um, but yeah so, um, when I got back home, I was really tired, so I took a shower and relaxed the rest of the day. Um, so it's the next morning, and 
I am um, about to wash my face. I got up early this morning. Well, not, not too early. Probably like eight something. Well, I, technically I did get up early because I normally get up around six o'clock. But I just lay in the bed and scroll on my phone until about seven or so. And then I get up and do what I need to do um, for today. But today I really didn't have much to do. I did get up and sage my house. Um, just to get out any bad, or not bad, let me say not bad, any negative energy that um, is in here because I've had, over the past couple weeks, I've had a lot of people in and out my house with my mom passing and whatever. You never know the type of energy that people bring in your house. So I just wanted to cleanse my space with whatever, you never know, so. Um, but yeah, so I did that this morning. I think I, I probably insert some clips of me doing that. Um, my friend actually, one of my good friends, Janae was actually the one, um, that bought that for me and she had, um, gave it to me, um, the day of my mom's funeral, she had dropped it off at my, at my house. Um, which I think was a, a nice gift because I'm all about good and positive vibes. So right now I'm just washing my face. Um, but yeah, like I said, last time I didn't really do too much. Um, Jordan, one of his homeboys from high school had came over to visit him because he's in the, um, service. So he hadn't seen him in a long time. So he had came by and um, visit him and whatever. Then he was telling me, he was telling me this morning that um, last night because in our neighborhood we have um, HOA and you can't park on the side of the street, so you have to find a um, a park at the top of the neighborhood to um, park, like basically park in a parking space. And he was saying. Um, so it was Jordan's brother, his friend, and his cousin. They were, so it was like three cars, but they didn't even come in the house. They were just outside for like maybe 10 minutes at the most, just talking or whatever. And he said, um, one of our neighbors that lives directly across the street from us, she, um, I guess, pulled in from work. She had pulled in and started recording them. And I'm like, why would she do that? I think I'm going to do a mask. Um, but yeah, so she um, basically backed into her driveway, like across the street from us. And um, like they were standing at the end of our driveway. And she started recording them. And so Jordan and they were like, I mean, what's going on? So his cousin was asking her like what she was doing and whatever. But of course, you know. Those type of people, they don't say nothing. So I'm assuming that um, she may have emailed or called the um, a, the person that is over the HOA because Jordan was outside on the phone, and it just so happens that the head of the HOA comes up, the, walking up the street in her robe. Girl, what you doing? We've never had, never had a conversation with them ever. The whole time that they've been staying there since they moved in. I'm the type of person that if I'm doing something that bothers you, address me about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I might not even know that I'm doing anything to bother you. I might not even, I might, you know, so I really feel like you should tell me instead of bringing another party into the situation when it can easily be address and dismiss but some people aren't like that yeah so next time i see that hole ma'am if you have an issue please feel free to come knock on my damn door and let me know anyways yeah so but today me and ken not doing nothing i'm so glad i mean i love my daughter i love my kenji but I'll be glad when she goes back to school next week. And it's because I really enjoy 
my quiet time. I really, really enjoy my alone time. Even though I still have Journey, but she takes naps during the day. So I still have that time where I can do what I need to do and enjoy and be, you know, whatever. But we can, she, she's um awake all day. And sometimes she needs me to entertain her. And sometimes I don't feel like it. That's, you know. It's what it is being a mom and some, but sometimes I have to because that's what moms do but you know anyways so like I said I'm not doing nothing today um probably just do some cleaning up or some straightening up because it's really not too much to clean but yeah if I do anything I will talk to y'all then but if not I might see y'all tomorrow I might see y'all later I don't know. We'll see. It'll be a surprise. Yes! I'm putting this, um, I put this detox mask on my face. And it's stinging a little bit. But yeah, I'm about to go downstairs and make, um, me and me, Journey, and Kennedy something to eat. Probably make, um, Journey some eggs with some fruit or something. I'm not going to eat anything for breakfast because I'm trying to do, like, a little bit of, um, intermediate fasting. So I really don't eat until about 12, 11, 12. But yeah, so um, because I need to lose some weight um, so that I can get off this blood pressure because my cardiologist has me on um, blood pressure. Well, not my cardiologist. My doctor has me on this blood pressure medicine, um, which I started taking it after I had journey. Because I was having a little bit of um, issues with my blood pressure after I had her. Um, which never went, no, not after I had her, when, while I was pregnant with her, but it never went away after I gave birth. So it's clearly an issue that was, I, mean, I never had any issues before I got pregnant, but it's clearly an uh, issue that's lingering. Um, but my cardiologist, so I had to go see a, start seeing a cardiologist because I was having heart palpitations and I just wanted to make sure that my heart was fine. Um, which he said that it's not abnormal to have, um, palpitations, which I really don't have the palpitations. Like if my, if my, um, blood pressure is elevated. So, but he did say that if I lose a little bit of weight, I can probably get off of the medication because I don't want to be on this drug long term. So I I am my next appointment is in February. So I'm trying to be down um at least 20 pounds by February, which is doable, but I don't, well I don't know because holidays are coming up. Um but we'll see. So I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. Um which is hard because I'm a stress eater and I have been stressed the past two and a half months with everything going on with my mom. So that's kind of hard. I really, I really don't like the way that I look in my clothes. Like I don't think, I don't hate the way I look. I just don't like the way that my clothes fit when I put them on. So I just need to lose a little bit of weight. Really just in my stomach area because did have a baby. But anyways, so I'm going to go downstairs, feed my children, and straighten up a little bit. Like I said, maybe I'll see y'all later today. Maybe I will see y'all in the morning. Um, This is probably going to be a weekly, a week vlog instead of um, an everyday vlog. This vlog, this particular vlog right here. And I'm also going to work on doing some other videos. I'm probably going to do like a... Uh, makeup video um, and I'll go more into depth as far as um, the past two months of my life um, talk a little bit about that and um, I don't know really I'm just you know trying to figure things out but, you know, hey. but anyways okay I'll talk to so you. it is the next day again is Thursday um today has been a really tough day for me um but 
I'm feeling a little bit better now. It's been a tough morning, but right now it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, and I'm on my way to, um, I had printed, on my way to Walgreens, I had printed out um, like all of my mom's pictures that I have on my phone. Um, and I printed them out so that I can have them. And you know, cause sometimes stuff gets, um, sometimes stuff gets lost on your phone and I didn't want to risk me losing those pictures of her. Um, so I just got them all printed out. That way I can keep them and whatever. And then um, I'm going to try to go up to the cemetery to drop off her um, picture for her headstone. Um, I was supposed to do that like almost two weeks ago, but I just haven't been up to it. And I wasn't really ready to go back up there after her funeral, so I, um, I'm going to try to go today. I don't know, since today has been really hard for me, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, if I am going to go, but I kind of want to go ahead and take it up there. That way, um, it's done, and they can go ahead and put in the order for her headstone and um, get it in and whatever. I have my days. Um, some days I'm so sad that I have to cry and then some days I'm so mad or so some days I'm just so angry that I can't cry so it's kind of it's hard grieving is really tough especially when you lose somebody that's so close to you and this is like the closest death that I've ever experienced I've lost you know my um grandmother on my dad's side and my grandfather on my dad's side um but i've never lost somebody that was so close to me and involved so much in my life so it's just it's kind of it's really tough because i never thought that i would be raising my kids <laughs> this young without my mom like especially like journey journey is not going to remember her and it's just, it's really tough to know that I'm going to be going through so many milestones in my life and she's not going to be here physically for them. So it's just hard. And I know people say you can only take it day by day. I get that. But taking it day by day don't make it any easier. And I honestly don't think that whether it's five years from now or whether it's 10 years from now, this is not going to get easy for me it might get bearable i might be able to you know handle it easier but i don't think it's ever going to get easier for me this is something that i'm never going to get over and i mean that's just what it is but yeah so i am um pulling up to walgreens so i will um be back in a little bit i'm actually not going to go to the cemetery today i'm just not up to it maybe i'll try back tomorrow <laughs> i don't think i can i'm just not i just don't want to go today um but yeah i don't know i'm j i just can't do it today <laughs> so today is uh Friday. I did not come. I did not vlog anymore yesterday after I left um, Walgreens because I honestly yesterday was a really, 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 really tough day for me. Like I, I was crying all mother day. So I just was having a really bad day. Um, I was just having a really, really, really tough day yesterday thinking about my mom. And then um, when I went and got her pictures printed out and I looked through them, it just put me in a mood. Well, it didn't really put me in a mood because I woke up in a bad mood already. But picking up her pictures, that's what it, picking up her pictures made it 10 times worse. So I didn't really do anything 
yesterday at all. I went and got my nails done today. Um, I'm kind of feeling them. They're not 100% like the um, picture that I showed her. But I mean, they're close. They're close. Um, they are right. But I mean, whatever. I mean, I guess really the only way that you're going to get the nails that you are inspired right is to go to the person who did them. I am about to go out for drinks with my friend Amanda. Um, me and her are getting up in a little bit to go grab some drinks. Um, I just finished getting ready. I just finished getting ready. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to wear because I don't know if I'm going to wear this. It's just a little um, tank crop top and some jeans. But I don't know if it's going to... I'll probably wear some combat boots because I'm, it's a chill vibe. I ain't doing all of that. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. What was I about to say? I don't know um, if this is what I'm wearing. But it probably is because I don't feel I'm tired of looking for clothes. But um, yeah. So we are about to go downtown to grab some drinks. I'm leaving the kids at the house with their daddy, and um, because I really desperately need to get out of the freaking house. Um, but yeah. So I will check back in with y'all when I get to Amanda's house. For real, I'm gonna check back in with y'all. When I get to Amanda's house. I guess I'll overcome black People tell me to play.